Hello everyone. In this video, we will teach you how to use our LED controller app to control the light effect for your show. First, open our controller app. And if we have set up the Wi-Fi and the suits, they would be automatically connected together. At this moment, we're using the low frequency transmitter to connect our LED suits. You will find a device with ID0, which in our transmitter itself. Depends on the connectivity. If we want to change the connection method to Wi-Fi mode, we could press the button at the bottom left corner. Adding checkpoints. Checkpoints could be used for synchronizing the LED effect with the music or marking the start and end of specific light effects. Right now, we try to add some checkpoints for our demonstration. We usually go to Vixen to get the precise time when the LED effects begin. Here shows the effect start at 10.3 second. Back to the controller app, we go to file and then edit at the toolbar. You can add checkpoints by increasing the number in this box. Empty checkpoints will be generated below. Input the time of we just marked and rename it. This is the start of our demo. Here is the effect of turning on all white lights on our suits. And this is the end point of our demonstration. Click Save here, and the checkpoints will be shown on the right. Next, basic operations. Playing the effects. Well, it's simple. At the moment the music hit the starting point, click the play button. Don't worry if you miss the timing, because you could slow down or speed up the light effect to match it. Let's say we start the effect earlier than the music we can hit the plus sign button on keyboard to speed up the effect. Vice versa, press the minus sign button and the effect will be slowed down. Then we go through some enhanced operation, freezing the effect. After the show, our audience may want to take photos with our dancers. Then we can freeze the light effect for our photo time. Remember the white light checkpoint we have created earlier? Click the freeze button in the same row and the effect will be hold like this. You could have other effects by creating the checkpoints at the moment you want. Looping. If there is audience want to take reels or boomerang, we could try looping a section of the LED effect. To make it loops, go to the checkpoint which you want the effect starts. Right. Click on the play button and select set start. Then go to the other checkpoint and set end. And a looping section will be created. After that, click the play button of the starting checkpoint and the effect will be looping. Next, switching effect page. Sometimes, we may want to use the effects from the previous show. To switch the control page for another effect, go to the select list below and choose the one you want. Then you can have a variety of light effects for photo taking or even freestyle dance section. Brightness control. At the bottom right area, you could find a slide bar for brightness and change the value there. Here's the examples of different brightness. First, let's try 1% of brightness. And here is 15%. And we bring up to 50 now. That'll for today's tutorial on our LED controller app. Thank you for watching.